Rashad, you guys got a, a big game against Tulane this week. What's the, <coughs> mood, like, the mood like with the guys? Uh, we're really excited, man. Um, playing for something big. Um, you know, like I said, after the game the other day, um, you know, I mean, the game for all the marbles, man. Um, they're a great team, um, and we get to go over there. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure the environment will be, will be, will be fun. So uh, really looking forward to it, man. This is a big one. Are you guys embracing an underdog mentality at all? It's the first time you guys haven't been favored in a game in a while. Uh, I feel like we've kind of been embracing underdog mentality this whole season. I think that's the only way to look at it uh, and go into it, um, especially with the way that we started the season. Um, I feel like we kind of were putting that underdog mentality early on, and I feel like that's been the reason why, or part of the reason why we've been able to dig out of that hole so well. Um, you know, I mean, it's all about your mindset, and we've been just going and attacking each week, um, and I feel like that's a big reason why we're we've been doing how we what, what we've been doing. What <clears throat> program has never beat a ranked opponent. Does that give you some added motivation to try and go out there and get another first? Uh, well, shoot, I didn't even know, you know, that was a thing for us. Um, you know what I mean? I think that would definitely be cool uh, for sure. But regardless, man, we're just trying to go out there, go play our brand of ball. Um, like I said, they're a great team. They got players all over the field. Um, and they, they, they do well on all three phases of the ball. So. Um, you know, we've been talking about having to go uh, that our best game is still out there. And, you know, I mean, what better week for that to show up than this week? Um, you know, I mean, we're going to need all three phases to show up. And, uh, you know, anything less can, you know, mess up what we're trying to do. So I think that's exactly what we got to go out there and do, man. Just play, play, play our brand of ball in all three phases and go out there and execute. What is it that makes Tulane so potent? Anything offensively you identify that you need to slow down? Um, you know, I mean, I think for all offense, it always starts with the quarterback. Um, you know, Pratt's a really good quarterback. Um, you know, what I mean, what he does back there, um, and you know, him being ahead of it. You know, what I mean, it's all ran through him. They have a really good running back as well uh, that runs really hard. He 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 finds the hole well. Um, their O line is really good too, and they got receivers out there that can do stuff in space. Uh, they run good routes. They're pretty fast, and um, you know, what I mean, like I said, the whole offense in the hole is just really good. Uh, I think they mesh well together too. Uh, they play hard for one another, and uh, you know, what I mean, I think. I think it's going to be a good matchup for us. Um, we're excited to go out there and play. Um, it's going to be a good game, and you know what I mean? We're just going to go try to be us, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. Try not to do too much, too many things, not try to be too fancy, but uh, just go play our brand of ball and line up, and you know what I mean, best man wins. Are there certain qualities or traits with Pratt that set him apart from some of the other quarterbacks we've faced this year? Um, I think just his decision-making, uh, his, his, his throwing ability, his arm, um, and just his toughness overall. You know what I mean? There's been a few times on film where – you know, I mean, I've seen him take a, take some bad hits and, you know, I mean, gets right up and keeps on rolling. Um, you know, I mean, and right after that, he goes and answers with a great with a great ball and, you know, I mean, stuff like that. So, um, like I said, it still always starts with the quarterback and Pratt is a really good quarterback, man. He he really has control over the whole thing. And, um, you know, I mean, he does well with, you know, I mean, running the offense and what 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 he does best, which is throwing the ball. And um, like I said, just taking control of the whole What's it say about UTSA as a program that you guys in your first year in this new league are in a position where you can compete for a championship? Um, I think it just I think it just kind of sets the tone for, you know, I mean, years to come. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard to switch into a new league and, you know, do what we've done this far. But, um, you know, I mean, I feel like that just goes back to what we what we stand on is just our culture, uh, what we believe in. And uh, we believe in one another, we play hard for one another. Uh, the coaches believe in us. We believe in them. And, you know, I, mean, I feel like it just shows on game day. Um, you can watch how hard we play, and um, you can also just see how we practice, man. We, we enjoy what we do. Uh, we love to do it. And uh, when, when, when it comes to game day, man, we go out there and sell out for one another and um, just, try to be, just try to do what we do best, man, that's just play football. I think a lot of people looked at this matchup, you two say, in Tulane early in the season and thought it might have some stakes when we got to this point. Was it one that you anticipated would be a big game, or had you been kind of targeting this one from the beginning? Um, I knew it would be a big game regardless just because, you know I mean, what they did last year. Um, they're a really good team. Uh, they're well coached. And, um, you know I mean, it was going to be the last game of the year for us. Um, you know what I mean? So I kind of I kind of figured it would be a big game. Um, and like I said, they're, they're a good team. Man. You can watch them throughout the whole year and see how hard that they play. And, um, you know what I mean, just they've been on a roll, just, you know, just like how we've been. So. Um, it's going to be an exciting matchup, man. I'm really looking, looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a battle of two great teams, man. And, you know, I mean, it's going to be just exciting because whoever wins this one goes and goes on to the conference championship to go see SMU. So I think this one's going to be really exciting, man. And, um, you know, I mean, like I said, it's going to be for all the Marlins, man. So 
It's gonna be a great matchup. I'm really looking forward to it. How do you feel about the state of UTSA's defense right now? Are you guys kind of in top form? Um, I feel like we've been we've been playing playing pretty solid. Um, you know, I mean, our best ball is still out there. Um, you know, I mean, uh, just from an execution standpoint, I feel like we've been doing that. Um, we might we might have a little laps here and there, but um, it's, I think it's kind of hard to be perfect in in college football. I feel like just being perfect, period. You, you know, what I mean, you can't really do that. Um, but you know, what I mean, I feel like we've been playing playing pretty good. Um, is are we still capable of playing better, and you know, what I mean, still have potential to be better? Yes, for sure. But um, you know, what I mean, that's going to come down to our preparation this week and um, just going out there playing ball. Last couple of years, we've talked about some of the explosive plays the group's given up, and it's been less of that this season. Is there something that's changed to be able to limit opponents in that way? Uh, I would just say our chemistry. I feel like we really understand one another in the back end a little bit better, um, from the corners to the safeties to the linebackers. Um, you know, I mean, just our communication and being on the same being on the same point that's really important. Just so you understand, you know, I mean, kind of who who's supposed to be where, who has who. Um, and, you know, I mean, you just get a feel for and start trusting that, you know, I mean, I know so and so will be where they're supposed to be. Let me just make sure I do my job. Um, being able to do that just makes you play faster more. And I feel like it just makes you more efficient. Um, you know, what I mean, up front, the D line been going to work, getting back to the quarterback. And, um, you know, what I mean, it's kind of hard to get a pass off when you got three or four dudes in your face. And, you know, what I mean, so, um, yeah, man, I feel like we just, I feel like we've been doing really good, man. We got to keep on building, keep stacking because, um, you know, I mean, we still got a couple more games to play. So, we, like I said, we still got our best ball ahead of us. And uh, that's all we're just trying to go do right now. Just keep on stacking and building. And, you know, at the end of the day, just trust the process. We've seen in this most recent game and a couple times before that, that teams will have their best drives against you guys early in the game. And then it seems like you kind of shut them down the rest of the way. What goes into that adjustment process? Or why have you guys been so good in that area? Um, sure, I think, I think the biggest thing about that is just settling in. Um, you know what I mean? But we need to, we, that's, I feel like that's something that we really need to work on is just being able to come out on fire and keeping that consistent throughout the whole game. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it makes it hard on everybody when you go out there on the first drive and now you're playing from behind, uh, trying to play catch up, you know what I mean? And um, we gotta, we gotta be able to come out there, you know what I mean, ready to play instead of, you know what I mean, having to wake up and then get ready to uh, settle in later on. Um, you know what I mean? But regardless, you know what I mean? I think that just comes down to, you know what I mean, kind of a next play mentality. Um, we can't worry about what happened in the play before. Um, and as long as, as long as we're able to get them down and they can't get in the end zone, you know what I mean? We always have a chance regardless. So, um, you know what I mean? That's just something that we got to continue to work on, man. And, um, but, you know what I mean? It does come down to preparation. Uh, it comes down to us and taking each day one day at a time and, you know what I mean, just continuing to build and keep, keep stacking. Do you make significant kind of tactical scheme or game plan adjustments within a game, or is it usually pretty minor in terms of those adjustments you make that a lot of success? I would I would say it just really depends on what's really going on. Um, I feel like I feel like throughout the game it's usually just like minor tweaks and stuff here and there. Um, I feel like half halftime is when the the bigger adjustments come in for um, most teams. Uh, you know, I mean, going there and try to try to figure out what, what's been working for them, what hasn't been working for us, and you know what I mean, try to go and make those adjustments. But during the game on the fly, it's really just minor tweaks. Um, you know what I mean, it may just be ju just trying to fix our eyes or something else, or um, just calling something else opposed to something else that we planned on during the week. Um, but you know what I mean, being able to do that, I feel like is what makes good defense go to great. Just being able to adjust on the fly and be able to capitalize on those adjustments that we make, you know, in a split second. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Thank you all.